you're a pro. I mean, come on. <laughs> so it's so interesting because I'm sitting here at Patty's house with her and we were talking about, um, you know, kind of like where this all began. So I pulled up a letter and actually an email that I wrote you and it was about uh, four years ago now. And I was traveling back to BTS. So I was giving you an update um, as to what had happened, right? Like since, um, sit, you know, because I was going to be seeing you again. And I'm like reading through this letter that is now four years ago. And it seemed like a lifetime ago. I'm like, oh my gosh, like none of this. I mean, it's really cool that the, all those things happened that I thought were such a big deal then. But it's almost a lifetime has happened between now and then. We just thought that was pretty crazy. Like just how much things can change in such a short amount of time because it's it's only been five years since that first retreat that I went to and then started attending all your seminars and it just seems like um, my entire life has flipped upside down in the best possible way but in such a short period of time you know that's great yeah yeah so so cool so um you know, I don't know if you know this or not, um, but when I was 27, um, I actually was diagnosed with a fatal heart condition. And so when I had that um, condition where, I don't know if you ever heard, like those healthy high school kids will be playing a sport and they'll be out on the football field and they'll just kind of, they'll just drop dead, right? Because their heart, what happens is their heart explodes and it stops, right? So sure. yeah, so I had this condition unbeknownst to me. And wow. I was driving home from work one day and all of a sudden I just started, my hands started going numb and my uh, arms started going numb and I, I had blacked out on the side of the road. Right. So I, I had gotten safely to the side of the road, but everything went black and, and, you know, I felt numb before I blacked out and I didn't know what was going on. I mean, I was, I was still a kid, you know? And so I thought to myself, you know, all right, this, you know, maybe this is it. Like, is this what happens? I had no idea what was happening to my body. And I remember in that moment I had made, you know, I was talking to God cause I didn't know what else to do in, in that moment. And I had just said, you know, if you grace me with the opportunity of more time, then I will vow to always show up for my life. And I get emotionally even thinking about it now because it was such a pivotal moment at such a young age. I didn't really even understand the magnitude of that commitment that I had made at that time. Sure. And what brought me to you and what brought me to, you know, Patty and working with you two as my mentors was that I went on for seven years really thinking that I was like showing up for my life, like doing all the things. I was running a recruiting company when I met you. Um, you know, from the outside looking in, I had two kids, the way I pay attention, you know, like everything looked like it was successful. But because I had had that commitment that I made internally, but I feel like we all have that something to honor inside of us, right? That something kept on pulling at me and it was it wasn't enough what I was doing. It was very surface. Um, it didn't really mean a lot to the world. And there was something that kept pulling inside that there had to be more than this. And that's actually what led me to you. I, I didn't know why I needed this work in my life. Like I, I didn't know why I was attending that first retreat. I didn't have a goal coming in. I wasn't like, I have to leave with this. I just kept being pulled to it. And I remember when I left there, I knew my life was going to change forever. I didn't know how yet, right? And I know that you and Patty were like, don't worry about the how, right? That'll all come with all of these other things that we're teaching you to do. Um, but I trusted it and I really believed that there was another path for me that was going to open up to, um, you know, really making a difference in this world. And that, and that was what began to ignite my soul again, you know? Um, and as you know, leading to the children's book series and, and now the collaboration book series, you know, and I just was saying to Patty, we have through all of the book opportunities through the publishing company that I started, we've created 91 best selling authors in the past wow, that's four amazing. years, right? Good for um, you. Thank you. And thank you, really. Like, thank you from the bottom of my heart, Jack, because this. 100% is all due to not just what you have taught me, um, 
but, and I know you probably hear this a lot, but this is really just important for me to say, and, and hopefully for you to receive is that it's not just the teachings that you have, um, but it's the way that you are able to connect with those that you teach, right? right. And like feeling that connection versus just the words, right? Or just kind of going through the motions. And that's what I feel when I'm with you. And, you know, I've been to many of your seminars and I'll continue to go because of that connection that you really um, just exude. You know, it's, it's very natural to you, obviously, but it is life changing for everyone who has the privilege of being at one of your retreats or, or seminars or whatever they, they, however they choose to embrace your teachings. So it, it's just been, it's just been really amazing. So thank you so much. Well, you're very welcome. I mean, you're a phenomenal person. Obviously, you're doing some amazing things. I love the things you're doing with your your daughter and all the, the books you're writing and the people you're supporting. And now you're working with girlfriends and with Patty and making other, you know, what you're doing, you're passing it on. And the reason I show up with such connection, as you call it, is I really want to inspire and empower people to live their highest vision in such a way that they actually turn around and create a service to the world. I was at a workshop recently and someone said that Tony Robbins had said the only person, the only reason for personal growth is so you can become a, a more effective at serving others. Mm. And serve others as you have, the great abundance comes back to you. Mm. And so you've found your passion, you're fully actualizing it and you can see it in your face, you're radiant and uh, the joy that comes out of you and the, the, the um, inspiration you give to others is, is profound. So I'm excited that you're so excited. That's really yeah. what, what feeds my soul is knowing that you found your path and your passion and you're living it fully. And so it's, it's so unfortunate that so many people are not doing that. You know, so many people are living in this quiet state of resignation, hopelessness, and at some underlying level, fear and low self-esteem. And so, as you know, that's our, our purpose and passion is to help people overcome all that and create their vision. So, you are a shining example of what it looks like when it works. So thank you for feeding that back to me. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, that's the thing about it. When you're in that place that you refer to, Jack, it's, um, you know, a lot of people feel like, well, I need to know what I need to do next in order for me to begin. Um, and the reason it was so important for me to share with you kind of how I got, that, how I got to you and through coming to you came back to myself was that I didn't know what I needed to change. I didn't know what my path was going to look like. I did not know that I was going to sell my recruiting company and become an author. I did not know I was going to start a publishing company. I didn't know that I would go on to coach other people. I just knew that, that something needed to change because I needed to feel more fulfilled, right? And that I, there was something that I needed to give back to the world but I had no idea what that looked like, right? So you're speaking to the people that might be, you know, just kind of navigating. I call the, you know, it's like you can tell when you look into somebody's eyes, are they awake, right? Right. And right. So if the if you're not awake yet, right, then you, sometimes you are intimidated to learn from someone like yourself, Jack. Honestly, because they're like, well, I don't know. I need to have a plan first before I get there you know um but it's the complete opposite it's really just about honoring where you're being led because there's a reason for it and then when you take that first step it's like you take one the universe takes a thousand right and so it's like when they take that first step let's just say towards you because you and patty are the ones that have really changed my life then you get to show up you know in all all of your brilliance mm -hmm. and and co-create that next step or that path or you know, whatever that may look like for the person. And you just do that so, so brilliantly. So I just, yeah. I, I've said it before to you, but thank you for showing up for who you are so that you can help all of us become who we're meant to be as well. You're welcome. I just read, an, uh, I'm reading a book and this is something I never understood before is how lightning works. I always thought lightning just struck the, hot, the tallest thing that was around when it built up its charge. Turns out that's not true. What happens is that a charge builds up on the earth and as that charge builds up, it starts to move upward mm -hmm. and then it attracts the lightning. And so by you showing up willing to learn, by you showing up with this knowing something wants to happen in your life, 
that's what allows the other thing to come down and, and open you up and charge you to the level that you're now awake to use your term. And so it's so important to, to take that first step. It's like you have to move toward the sky so the sky can move toward you, move toward mm. your, your higher self so your higher self can awaken you to your true purpose. And once you have that and you honor that and you act in alignment with that, as you know, life becomes very, very magical. And yeah. um, but I, I love, I'm now surrounded by people who are living magical lives because of that. Well, that is my biggest takeaway from all of this and why I'll continue to play in this space, if you will. It's because, you know, when the people in, you know, when I'm running around town or dropping my kids off at school or, you know, it's like I'm not getting that, that deep connection um, all of the time, you know, by the people who are in my physical space. Um, and that changed so drastically when I came into really what I'm going to call your family, the Canfield family, right? Because it, people say that and then I was like, all right, come on. You know, it's like, are we really a family here? And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually like a real thing. It is not just a community. Uh, these people are deeply, deeply connected to one another because of the space that you curate of this loving and caring environment where everybody really feels that connection very deeply. And there's that word again, because that's what you facilitate. Um, and so, yeah, so now you get to be surrounded by these magical people who are continuing to inspire this type of mindset um, and, and living this life and encouraging you to constantly up level and live your highest self, right? To your, to your highest ability, if you will. Um, and it doesn't matter where people are right now. Like, you know, I'm, you know, across the, uh, the United States from you, but we're, we're sitting here on Zoom. But it's neat how the people that you attract to your work um, are the, the best people in my life and have been for the past five years and will continue to be. So I don't know how you do it, but that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. That's really cool. I really appreciate you sharing that with me. Yeah. You made my morning. Thank you. Wonderful. All right, Jack. Well, have a great day. Look forward to chatting with you soon. And um, take care. Have a good one. You too, Kate. Love Bye -bye. you. Bye. Love you. Bye.